The 2010 Women Deliver Conference opened to a simple message from its president and founder, Jill Sheffield. We know now that we need a further $12 billion a year, and it's really that simple, and it's that difficult. The theme for this year's conference, delivering solutions for girls and women through support from first ladies and royalty, health ministers and world leaders like United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Invest in women, it pays. Uh, this is one of the best investments we can make for these and future generations. Working together, we aim to make 2010 a turning point for women's health. And nearly 4,000 attendees from 146 countries around the world turned out to support those initiatives. This woman works for an aid organization as their representative for India and is particularly focused on the move to reach out to women in their earliest childbearing years. I think that globally the efforts to put women at the center of uh, the development world has been ongoing. Um, so I think where the sea change perhaps in, is in terms of the recognition of countries like the United States uh, uh, bringing the issue of women and girls to the forefront of uh, foreign policy and foreign assistance. While this man focused on women's health issues for more than 20 years, wants to see concrete plans for action. So I think when you come to these meetings now, you have a bit of skepticism. Is there something going to move? So actually you're looking for actions. You're looking for actions for further movement. Actually, my one word would be actions. What actions can be done? And all attendees agree the focus on women's reproductive and sexual health issues is growing globally with the opportunity to have real change at every turn.